Well, let's talk about security with Thibaut de Monreal, a very high-profile lawyer here in France, also the head of a think tank which specializes in security. And Thibaut, you work with the police. What's your assessment of the threat to this tournament? Well, everybody knows that uh, this is a, a very high threat during the coming months uh, in France because the Islamic State has called uh, its partisans to, to attack Europe uh, during the Ramadan and uh, where is the best place to strike Europe? It's France because every, all Europe will be in France, the, the, the soccer teams, the medias, so we are facing a very high level of threat. And what do you think of what the government has done to counter that threat? Well, on the, on the ground we are ready because uh, there are 70 7,000 people uh, assuming security tasks in the fan zones, the stadiums, in the train station. But you know that uh, terror attacks are always by surprise, and it's not a matter of normal war. It's not boots against boots. You have surprise. So the big task is intel. It's before the attack. And this is. Sorry, we lost you there, Roz. High profile target, but secure. The other choice was no fan zone, but everybody in the bars and coffees, and all these are targets, so no good solutions. Matthew, we're still talking with Thibaut de Montreal, a security expert here in Paris. Thibaut, um, I want to ask you about the fan experience, because lots of our viewers around the world are saying, what's it going to be like for the people coming to this country? Will it be a very different tournament? to what it would have been without the Paris attacks? Well, I, I'm a big football fan. I would love it to be exactly like in 1984 uh, for the first Euro in France or 1998 for the World Cup. Unfortunately, what, when you walk through the streets of Paris or the big cities in France in the airport, you, you feel that something is different. And when you look back to 1998 and those wonderful weeks when France won the World Cup, could you ever have imagined that France would now be in this security situation? No, I, my, I think that uh, Europe, and especially France, but all Europe, it has been, is now out of it, the peace we experienced for 70 years. Now we are facing a major issue with radical Islam. Whether we beat the Islamic State uh, in the Middle East or not is not the question. Now we all have a problem with our youth radicaliza ra radicalized, sorry, and it will last years. I know you need to go. Do you think your team will win? I hope so. You hope so. Nice to see you. Thank you very All much, right. Tebow. I'm going to let Tebow uh, step up.